this is Gab. And this is his daughter, Bab. But we'll get to her later. Gab is a simple man with a simple job. He speaks for people. When two people are talking, he listens to one side and paraphrases it to the other for positive oral exchange. He lends his gift to different situations, such as million dollar deals, gang wars, potential lovers, sibling rivalries, even political negotiations. That's why we don't have a third world war. Everyone is thrilled with Gab's good people skills. Everyone, except Bab. Bab is the opposite of Gab. When she was born, she used to be quiet. Now, she blabs her mind, however unkind it may be. No amount of sugarcoating or manuring could make Bab smile. But it wasn't always like that. And then one day, Mom didn't speak anymore. Bab is sad. Gab tried to say comforting things. That didn't work. He tried to make small talk, like the weather. That was awkward. He tried to say funny things, like a joke. That was so bad. He tried to remind her of his fatherly authority. Father, listen to me. That made Bab mad. No matter what Gab says, there will always be a barrier between them. This makes Gab very sad, and his work performance goes bad. People started fighting, and no one was thrilled. He lost his people skills. Every single day, Gap will ponder on the right words to reach Bab. He pondered and pondered and pondered, but there was nothing. Until one day, he sees Bab with the boy next door. Gab could not believe his eyes. At first, in a long time, Bab is smiling. What was the secret? Was it sugar coating, manuring, or even words of unconditional positive regard? He had to find out. As the boy makes his way home, Gab stops him in his tracks. Says Gab, but the boy says nothing. I said hello. Still silence. Unlike Gab, the boy could not speak. Suddenly, everything made sense. Sometimes we struggle to find the right words when the right answer is a little more.